Hello parents, thank you for watching my back to school night video. I want to explain some things about, you know, how class is going in this new uh, uh, online learning environment. Um, so first, how is Zoom used in my class? Um, most classes that we do are um, live and there's some interaction. Of course, your child doesn't have to. It is not mandatory to participate live and I'm going to talk about that in a second. Um, but for our Desmos art project, um, we've, I've experimented a little bit with making some pre-recorded screencasts um, that the students can watch um, during our class session and then uh, stop and practice the skills that they're learning and share their screen with me um, so that they can so that I can give them feedback on what they're doing. Um, but a lot of what, what we're doing is uh, you know instruction that hap that is happening um, during that live class session. Now, what should you do if your child, is unable to uh, watch the videos during, or you know, participate in the live Zoom sessions. Your child can um, watch the videos later. And here in the distance learning folder on our Schoology materials page, they can go into the distance learning folder. Um, right here, the block five folder of class Zoom recordings. And let's say they were not here, um, on this day, they can just watch that video on their own time. So um, that's how that's how that works. Now, if they are present in class, uh, you know, during if they're meeting during the live times, um, they can ask me questions. Of course, during you know, in the chat, they can unmute themselves and ask me uh, audibly. Um, well, one of the things that I'm trying to do, because I know that learning is maximized when there's interaction between people, is to ask them questions to answer in the chat. And so if they can answer um, you know, the questions in the chat, that's great, and I can give them feedback on what they're saying. However, if your child um, can't participate live, um, I still want them to feel included and to get some of that interaction. So what they can do is they can, um, when I ask a question, um, they can pause their video and think about the answer themselves and write it down or just have it in their head or whatever. Um, and then they can unpause the video and see what the other students say and then ultimately see the answer and what feedback I give to um, the students in the video. So hopefully there's still you know, some type of interactivity and there's some type of participation that can happen, whether your student is participating live or later when they watch the videos. How can students improve their grade? So uh, the answer to that question would be, um, Two ways. One, um, on our final exam, um, we're going to have uh, a portion covering the new stuff that we've learned, and of course, that doesn't affect the grade in any ways. Um, but there's also going to be a portion from the material that we covered back when we were on campus. If students um, do those problems, then if they score better on them, that will replace the grade that they um, had uh, initially back when we were on campus. Um, so that's the main way. Um, and so uh, I haven't seen a, a schedule for finals week, but I'm assuming that, um, you know, there's going to be, that'll be put out um, soon. Another thing that students can do if they don't want to wait that long um, is they can participate in office hours. Um, actually, one member of this class has already um, been really awesome about doing this. She's come in a couple times um, and she demonstrated to me um, through like a kind of a verbal test over Zoom that she um, understands the material um, that she missed on the test. And so I was able to replace her grade um, and that's great. Now that may take one Zoom session. It may take two or three office hour sessions, but if students have questions, um, I wanna be able to kind of help them once they feel ready, once I feel ready that they've mastered the material, then we can um, give them that opportunity to uh, do it in like a verbal test. But if they don't want to do that, they can wait for the um, final exam. Uh, what about content for next year? So what we're doing right now is we're working on a Desmos art project. I'd love to show you a little bit. Um, there's art project resources in this link with videos um, that um, we've made and a bunch of tutorials and practice sessions and stuff like that. One of the things that we worked on recently was this. In the Desmos art project, you can take these images um, of, you know, pictures that you find, um, and then you can do math equations to make the art that you see in the image. Um, and then when you do take away the image, it looks really cool because it's all math. Um, so like here, this was a, a task that we recently did, this Parasite movie poster. 
Um, and if we want to make the, um, the knife, let's say, we have this quadratic equation that makes a parabola. And the parabola makes uh, kind of follows the bottom curve of that knife. And if we restrict the domain, um, we can turn the parabola off. We have a linear function for the top blade of the knife. And then we can shade in between them. And it looks, um, it looks really cool. And uh, we have something here for the handle. The left plate still working on that. Um, but we're working on the different pieces and um, this uh, cool kind of math art, like right here in this London Bridge Tower. Here we have a quadratic equation. You see the red equation over here on the far right uh, of a parabola with a restricted domain. So um, we're learning some really cool stuff and I hope that your child um, finds it uh, meaningful and educational uh, and also um, engaging considering uh, the circumstances. Um, we've been working on tasks so far to practice and then this next week coming up, they're gonna choose their own image and make their own art. So I'm really excited to see that. Additionally, um, in, we're gonna finish up the pollster's dilemma unit, which is a statistics unit. So we're gonna learn about um, the normal distribution, z-scores. Um, we'll see how much time we have to get into confidence intervals and confidence levels, um, but we're still gonna be learning a, a lot of math um, for the rest of the year. Okay, um, I know that this class structure is different than maybe you know history or English, um, but I'd say most uh, the the kind of structure of class is to spend most of the, the time together interacting um, with the students. So if your child has questions, they can participate in those live sessions if possible. But if not, please have them email me because I really want to answer their questions. Um, Lastly, uh, this is an online education. This is like emergency education. Uh, that's what a friend of mine, a teacher friend in St. Louis said, and I, I really agree with that. Um, you know, I feel, I take pride in uh, being up to date with the most uh, current best practices for math education. Um, and I have no idea about best practices for online learning. I'm not familiar with that at all. Um, and so it's emergency learning. I'm, I'm doing the best I can, just like you all are. Um, your families, your children. And so, uh, yeah, if you have any questions, please email me. Um, I want to help as best I can. Uh, take care. Stay safe.